Jay Fry. Yes, sir. 2023 IndyCar Series. Talking. We're, walking we're walking and talking, and talking, talking, baby. This is the deal. I think we're going to do a lot of these this year. Okay. Spring training. We need the, the thermal walk. club. Walk's good for us. Yes. 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 Yeah. Some energy here. I'm genuinely excited about what's coming in 2023 to the NTT IndyCar Series. That's why I wanted to do this little walk through the paddock with you. Got some new things coming that yes. are pretty exciting. A lot of things in development for 2024. Yes. What are the things you're looking forward to about this new season? Well, first off, I think we got to thank uh, Tim and John Rogers, Nick Rhodes, everybody here at Thermal. Mm. Uh, spectacular way to kick off the season. Uh, an amazing venue. Uh, the members have been spectacular, so we just were really grateful. Uh, yesterday, yesterday we ran around 1,100 laps. Uh, this morning, I think we got like 700 in. So, wow. a really good test. Yeah. So it's a good way to kick off the season. Is this a place you think? we might come back to for future spring trainings, anything like that, or well, is that still to be yeah, discussed? possible, right? Um, I think we wanted to see how it would go, and it's went very well. I think the teams are all very excited to be here. Um, we're excited to be here, so you know, look at, look. Yeah. Look, this is all right, right? This, this is, is the good. Worst. This isn't the worst, yes. We're gonna have 27 full-time entries, which is a pretty amazing number for us, plus some additional entries at other events. Gonna have what well, we Ari already Lyndike, have. Our line dike, boys and girls. Dyke. Ari Lyondike. You, you wait, can't wait, even look up. Wait, yeah, you win a couple Indy 500s. Uh, when you walk through our paddock, it's amazing yes. what you see. Yes. New, I'm sorry. No, 27 entries. Sorry about 27, 27 yes. entries. That tell me about that. That's a pretty amazing indicator yeah. of growth, success. There's something real vital going on here. It's good, huh? Yeah. So uh, 27 entries. It's the most we've had since I think 2011. Yeah. yeah full time wise. Um, Amazing progress, amazing paddock. Think about we started that, you know, our, our rolling five-year plan in 2016. Well, that was one of the goals was to have new teams, new owners, new entries, that type of thing. So, I mean, you look over um, here at Air, the uh, Air yeah. McLaren team. They've gone from two cars to three full-time. I think Andretti's fielding about 27 of those yeah, 27 exactly. entries. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a lot of positive stuff happening here. Also love, if we're going to get on the technical side, hey, and those fuel cells. Yeah. We've got some... Uh, Renewable fuel, 100%, 100 for the first time. For the old engineers and geeks like me, that's the stuff that I love. Tell me about this partnership yeah. with Shell. Well, Shell's been an amazing partner. Um, if you think about it, you know, I think it was 12 years ago we started off with the 85, which at that point was pretty cutting edge technology. When well, now to be 100% renewable is, uh, I, I think you could say we're kind of leading the league in sustainability in that regard. So we're excited about that. Um, you know, the teams have been running it here, you know, they, this tested thermal, everything's been going great. The manufacturers have been very supportive of it, um, very helpful in its development. So, um, yeah, we'll have 100% renewable fuel, uh, race fuel during the 2023 season. Others are talking about it. We're making it happen this year. I love that. Another thing, too, of great interest for me, going on in the background this year, we've got planning for 2024 happening, hybridization. Yes. Chevrolet. Honda, yes. Molly announced and such. Tell us about that. How active and how busy is that going to be? Sure. Uh, it's an incredibly busy. It's been incredible. Got a curve, Davy. Yeah, watch. Careful, careful, Try not careful. Kill the cameraman here. Yeah, yeah. This, this is big Thank money. You, big money production. So yes. Careful. You got another one coming. I think we're, another we're veering curve. to the. Well, let's yeah. veer over let's here. Veer. Uh, the hybrid. So yes, uh, incredible design by Mala. Um, Honda, Chevrolet, Ilmore have kind of taken it in-house uh, to make it raceable, right? To make it, you know, what are we going to do once we get the piece done? How's it going to be serviceable to track that type of thing? So uh, really exciting time. You think about it, what we're doing is very unique to IndyCar. Mm. Um, obviously, from a packaging perspective, the unit's got to be very small. Um, it's got to be, you know, as light as we can get it. It's going to have a lot of horsepower. Um, safe, you know, it's low voltage, so there's not a, not a lot of the rubber gloves and things like that. So, yeah, we're really excited. I love the fact with this hybridization as well, Jay, you mentioned Chevrolet, Honda. This isn't just a spec vendor sending things to teams and manufacturers to use. This is your manufacturers, your auto manufacturers yeah. getting centrally involved. That's a really new thing as well. Tell us about that because their spirit yeah. of wanting to get this not only to uh, the, the green flag, but the checkered flag to start as well. Yeah, well it's think about crazy. it, it's kind of a United Nations thing, right? Yeah. I mean, Honda and Chevrolet are actually have merged together to build this, or to finish off this design that Mala had. Um, they've been, you know, they've, they've basically taken different pieces of it, they're, you know, putting it together. We have meetings all the time. Um, it's just, it's great to see the collaboration between the two. They understand it, the importance of it for the series. 
they understand the importance of it for them. Yeah. So it's uh, it's been fun to watch. It's been fun to you know obviously we're part of the whole program with them and and, and, and the glue between the whole thing. But it's uh, it's going really well. Okay, we're almost getting to the end of our little walk and talk here. Are you tired? I know. I'm, no, I need this. this. Is a good exercise. This I'm a fat good guy force. trying to get I'm smaller, so yeah. I'm good with this. This has been great exercise. So you and your team hit a nice little home run yesterday announcing Indianapolis 500 in points. Uh, our late friend, Mr. Miller, that loud cackling you he heard when you announced was him going, we ha! Miss, yeah. Yes. We miss uh, him. No more double points. And no. If I'm just using the internet response as a thing, it seems like this was a home run. How did you get to that decision? <laughs> well, I think, I, I think when it was actually first implemented was 2014, maybe? Something 15, like that. Something like that, yeah. Um, mm. I wasn't quite here yet at that point. I never really understood why we were doing it. I understood the intention or what it could do. Um, but to me, the Indianapolis 500 merit stands on its own. It's the largest single-day sporting event in the world. It's the greatest race in the world. Yeah. Um, I, what did we need them for? I guess one, and the two that really didn't do anything. So yeah. again, I don't think it's was a bad idea to start, but it just really never was come into play. And where it kind of come into play was not necessarily the championship leader, because think of it, we had 17 years in a row where the the, the final race of the year decided the champion. Yep. The double points didn't affect that, but where it affected a lot of other cars, yeah, you know, a lot of other full time runners. So. Um, See, I suggested when it was announced that they make all the races double points. Nobody kind of got that, right. but yeah. you've well, basically taken yeah. us back to where yeah. we should be. like a push, right? Yeah. yeah, so think about it. So if you're, you know, there's 27 full-time runners, so there's going to be six cars, right, by math, six cars that are not full-time runners in the 500. Um, and if they're in front of you, that's actually, you know, it's like a double negative penalty then. It's not just double points. It's yeah. like it magnifies it. So, you know, again, it's we've had 17 years. 17 years in a row where we've come down with the last race of the season. It was fellow was time. Can't wait. Jay Fry, thanks for taking a little uh, we, walk look for how us far, here. We started off way down there, right? I look didn't how even, far, look at, I mean, this is. Had I planned, I would have gotten a golf cart to get you back. Yeah, this has you, been a great you, walk. You got other stuff to do. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thanks brother. Thank you.